All right, folks, we are back with another Starbase Summary. This is January 23rd through the 25th. Actually had some rough weather out there for quite a few days, making it tough to uh, get some of this going. But here we go with the flame deflector construction. You've been seeing these pipes appear on a regular basis over here as they work on that new flame deflector. And getting some views here from Mary. There's Pad B's launch mount, still a bunch of scaffolding around it but they continue to finalize that, finish it, get it all ready to roll out, and that is going to be a crazy rollout. Fast and Furious here at the beginning of the video. That right there is a booster transfer tube. Goes down the center of the booster to move propellant from the upper tank down to the engine area. And vaporizers for the tank farm, apparently. It just keeps going. It looks like they're delivering Christmas ornaments. But they're not. Those aren't like little spiky balls. Those are really long radiators, basically, designed to exchange heat with the stuff that's inside the pipes. There's like a pipe going up the middle of that radiator thing. Lots of pipes, I guess, going up the middle of that and then exchanging that heat with the outside air. Moving that thing all over. Look at that. I'm just going to go stack it over there. Hey, quick note. Uh, the folks responsible for the terrible British accent in the previous video have been sacked. I think they're... Mother got bit by a moose or something, but whatever. Uh, moving right along the one-way road, making the work of that truck a little bit difficult. Backing in. There's Ship 35 section moving into Mega Bay 2. You can see it was a little bit of a tough weather over there, a little hazy. Maybe that camera was pretty dirty, but you will see this. Okay, here we go. You're going to see a lot of this in the video. The chopstick. Notice how that says rig to chopstick. It's almost always chopsticks, plural, but this is one single chop stick. I guess you put together multiple chop sticks and you get a chop stack or something. I don't know, whatever. Uh, this is pad A. You can tell because it's, I mean, it exists. The launch mount is already there. It's not back at the uh, assembly area. Doing some work on the side of the big booster quick disconnect shielding there. Down at the bottom of the pad, doing some work inside the leg. Looks like a big welding equipment truck and generators and all that sort of stuff. You can see their shielding gas screens flapping around there. More vaporizers. Man, they're vaporizing a lot of stuff, interestingly enough. They just keep stacking those things up. Okay, what do we have here? Pad B. Just regular old Pad B. And the elevator moving up and down a little bit in the middle of it. Look at that dark sort of stormy weather in the background. You can tell with the mud in the foreground. It's been uh, raining quite a bit. You can see those thick clouds and time lapse in the background. Here we have, once again, <laughs> chopstick singular attached to the carriage. Now remember, they have the, the carriage that has been sort of put up on those red, good timing, uh, the red uh, jigs, I guess you call them, right? Like the temporary structures to hold it up. And then they're gonna move this chopstick around. See how they have it regged on both ends? There's a crane on both ends to level that thing out and get it up to the right position relative to the uh, carriage that they're going to put all this together with. So we've seen them doing a lot of this rigging and you have to lift it with two different cranes to level it out. Right now it's clearly not leveled and here we go. Now it's in the air and you can see two cranes working together to sort of swing it around and level it out. And the trick is there's this huge, yeah, there's a huge pin that goes in, this is going to be the right-hand side. You see that little tab stepping off, step, sticking off the right-hand top side of the part that's waggling back and forth, the chopsticks? They're going to try to get that pin into, I'm pretty sure I saw that, right? It's, this is the right side. Yeah, you can still see the pin there on the right side. Swing this whole thing around to get that pin aligned with this, ah, geez, on helicopters it's called, like, a Jesus nut, but I guess this is more of a god pin. These are actual terms. Look them up. I did not make them up. Um, but they need they have this one massive pin that they're going to need to put down in the middle of these two big holes um, to align the chopsticks and attach them securely to the carriage. This looks like it is the second chopstick in the chop stack. There's the first chopstick sort of aligned and getting uh, set up. There's the carriage on the right hand or on the left hand side actually, sort of behind the SpaceX crane up above it. And here they're gonna lift and swing around that second chop stick. There you go. Ah, look at this. Mary got this whole process. Then very carefully, multiple cranes working with the center of mass, 
getting it upright, verticated, if you will, level. There's that pin now on the left-hand side of that chopstick, and they're going to need to line all these things up. So big holes in the chopsticks where this hinge is, big holes on the uh, the carriage where you align this all, and then there's this massive pin they put down the center, and they attach it, and then the cable system for the pulley actually attaches to the top of that pin. If I'm not mistaken, that's how the old one worked. Let's see if the new one, maybe that shows up. But just a lot of fiddly work here. Ah, nice, another angle. This looks like it's the first chopstick, so we've rolled back time a little bit so you can see the whole process. The second chopstick rolled over towards it and then got rigged up by another crane and then flipped around and moved over. Neat. What a, what a, cool, uh, what a cool set of work that they have to do to get all that thing assembled. Take another peek back over at the flame deflector. You know, I almost feel like you need to A-B test this. Like, put a little pin in the ground and be like, okay, here's exactly where the tripod goes. And then we're going to flip back and forward between the two videos to see what has changed, if anything, on that uh, flame deflector. But more shots, sort of same work here at the launch mount. A lot of the shielding up there around the top. It looks like a tent city, almost. Bunch of welding and grinding masks here. Everybody tied off, it looks like. You can see the safety harnesses really well in this shot. Working on all of that piping that the deluge water goes through. All right, where are we at now? Ah, we're back to the skates. <laughs> the skates for Tower 2. Apparently, uh, okay, I get it. Koala bears aren't actually bears. That's just what they're called, generally. Maybe, I hope it's not offensive to just... To, to, to not just say koala and to say koala bear. But anyways, koalas skating down the tower. There were quite a few bits of feedback on my accuracy in that description in the last video. <laughs> I do read your feedback, by the way. <laughs> Even when you're telling me I'm wrong because koala, koalas are not bears. So working on the skates, you can see the part that's moving. You can actually see some of the rollers there, top and bottom on the right-hand side of that skate. Not quite positively attached yet. Held up with a crane or something, a hoist there at the top. I'm not sure that's an appropriate use of that scaffolding. You do what you gotta do, I guess. Okay, now we've climbed, the, okay, then we're gonna climb back down again. I assume we're adequately roped off as we work on that, uh, that work there on the side of the tower. Good grief. See, it's a little windy over here. I mean, you can see all the stuff flapping around on the tower, but also look at the sway on that lift. And here, this is some straps being added to Pad B's chopsticks. Oh, yeah, look at that. That bright yellow strapping. Interesting. Let's watch and see what that's for. Maybe that's... You know, if you tighten that up, you could do, almost use it like as a come-along to pull it towards the, the carriage, maybe. I don't know if that's what it's for, or if it's a safety thing or something like that. If I was having trouble pulling it or aligning it, I could see like uh, like two straps being attached in that axis. And then as you sort of ratchet those straps down and tighten them up, maybe it pulls the chopsticks closer to the carriage. I do not know if that's actually what's going to happen here. A little bit of slack in that left strap from this perspective. Not seeing the right strap. So let's see if we get it from a different angle here so we can figure out exactly what the purpose of those straps were. And again, I, when I watch these videos, this is the sort of first time I'm commenting on the entire video. It's not like somebody has told me the answer and then like, okay, here, now just recite this. Here's what the straps were for. It's like, nah, I'm seeing this for the first time, wondering what is going on with those straps. So if you have a good idea, like you're watching from the future and you're, you're observing the thought process of past me trying to figure out what they're doing, but you may already know what exactly has gone on with those straps? Maybe nothing went on with the straps. I don't know. I just think it's really curious to, to look at stuff like this. What we referred to it in the past is roadside rocket science, right? This is more roadside engineering, civil engineering or something like that, potentially. But uh, I love to just look at what they're doing and try to figure it out. It would be much less fun for me if I was just regurgitating the known answers. Part of these videos are about me sort of figuring out and talking with you about what I'm seeing, not just regurgitating stuff. 
That is, well, you're definitely, that's like a come along sort of thing there. May not, maybe not exactly, but he's definitely taken some slack out, manually ratcheting that. Here we've hopped back over. A lot of, lot of work. An awful lot of work on these chopsticks, this whole structure with the carriage and the two chopsticks. There's the straps again. This is a lot of... I don't know. There is some scaffolding in this shot. I think that is scaffolding. But a lot of that is the structure of the thing itself. Okay. Chopsticks shimmed. See, look at that strap. That strap seems to be going between the two chopsticks. Like if you needed to pull them together a little bit, you could ratchet that and it would, it would pull them together or keep them from coming apart. In here, they're adding these wood blocks to the top of the red tower, uh, the red temporary structure, to sort of get the chopsticks exactly aligned the way, the way they need to be. But, folks, that is going to be it for this Starbase summary. I appreciate you joining me for my journey of discovery. Or whatever. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Remember, you got other languages if you want Spanish or German. Change the audio track, and we'll see you nerds later.